just believe that God is stirring some hearts in here this morning about your vocational calling and what you were called to do. And it could be that you are somewhere in that sphere of influence that God meant for you, but it could also be that you're doing something and you're thinking, I know this isn't it. If you want to fulfill the mandate of God for why he saw you in his mind's eye before you were in your mother's womb and said, I'm going to need that one in 2010 to be alive on earth then in this geographical location and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this gift in them, this ability, this talent in them, this heart, this personality, this sense of humor. I'm going to put all this in them and then I'm going to send them to that place. I'm going to plant them in that church. I'm going to have these leaders mentor them and bring them along so that they can be here at this time and my, my plan can be manifested. Amen? The Spirit of God spoke a word to me that has burned in me and I have carried. And the word he spoke to me was this. I didn't even know what this word meant. He said this so emphatically. The tectonic plates of people's lives are shifting. The tectonic plates of people's lives are shifting. I said, Whoa. Where's my dictionary? What are tectonic plates? <laughs> I remember, okay, science, something about earthquakes, little of this, little of that. I had to go take a look at what that meant. About two months later, I was sitting in an airport, as I many times am, flipping through my Blackberry, you know, killing time, waiting for a flight. And uh, I get, you know, like um, news updates, you know, on your phone. And so they do it on mine by different categories. And so I was just killing time, so I read through a bunch of them I don't usually look at. And there was one category, science. And it's whatever's going on in science, you know, for that day. And so I just opened it. And it said, the he all I could see at first was the headline. The headline said, New Zealand Island shifts drastically due to tectonic plates. This was two months after. I said, hello, we need to read it. Open, 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 you know. And so I opened it up. And so it said that there was this island off the coast of New Zealand that all of a sudden the tectonic plates underneath it, that foundational structure, shifted so quickly that it moved a whole island nation one mile in seconds. God needs you in your place. People are waiting. Souls are in the balance. People are waiting. Spheres of influence are waiting. Business is waiting to unfold. Education is waiting to progress. Technology needs to move forward. What does the word say? Creation is waiting, groaning for the manifestation of who? The ministry gifts? The sons of God. He's talking about you. For the land, whither thou goest in to possess it, is not as the land of Egypt from whence you came out. What's God saying? It's going to look different. It's going to be different. You're going to look different. You're going to function different. But where you sow thy seed and you water with thy foot as a garden of herbs. But the land whither you go to possess it, it is a land of hills and valleys and drinketh water of the rain of heaven. Of the rain of heaven. Look at verse 12. A land which the Lord your God cares for, the eyes of the Lord your God are always upon it from the beginning of the year even until the end of the year. And it shall, verse 13, come to pass, if you shall hearken diligently unto my commandments, which I command you this day to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all your heart and with all of your soul. Let me tell you something. God has sent us into a land to possess, to possess, not to meander in, but to possess. Not to just get by in, but to possess. That means you have dominion. 
How many of you know that in your job that you have and in your family, spiritually, God sees you as the one in charge? Why? Because you're the one with spiritual dominion. You're the son and the daughter of God in that place. And what I believe the Spirit of God is saying is that he is bringing in the reins of heaven and it is the reins of heaven that cause the land to produce or to give up or to give forth its fruit or its harvest. You see, there are places in our culture, even here in this region, that creation's groaning to manifest, businesses are groaning to manifest productivity, to manifest wealth. Schools are wanting to produce champions, but they're needing, they're waiting for a son and a daughter of God to go into that part of creation and to begin to function as a son and a daughter of God. And when you do, it will be forced to produce its fruit. Can you imagine if in our public school system we had a bunch of teachers like that? Now listen, I attended a Christian school for a time, and I'm all for Christian schools. But you know, the body of Christ, we did ourselves a bit of a disservice when the public education system started changing, and we ditched it and went and built our own schools. Well, who's being salt and light now to those little baby girls and boys? Who's preaching the gospel to them? What teachers are getting their hands on those kids 8 to 5 and and imparting the life of God to them, they don't even know it. Amen. Where's our business owners full of integrity that are raising up young men and women full of ambition and saying, God will put wealth in your hands if you'll use it for his purposes. God will make you a success if you'll do it his way. Where are they? Because a lot of them, we forced to be preachers, and they weren't preachers. They had callings and giftings on them to function in business. And I'm telling you what, church, God is shifting our mentalities and he's needing us to shift quick so that we can release each other to take our place and be salt and light. Amen. 